With a large selection of tech courses and name brand collaborators like Google, Starbucks, and Mercedes, Udacity is a popular platform for new and experienced learners alike. But is it worth your time and money in 2021? We're taking a look at Udacity today and the video starts right now. What the heck is Udacity? Basically, it's a video-based learning platform. It specializes in tech education, and as you can see up here, the main categories are as follows. Programming and development, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, data science, business, autonomous systems, and career. Now, as we get into the inner sanctum of this platform, you may notice that inside these subjects, they mention this thing called a nano degree. And a nano degree program is basically a collection of courses and projects projects in a certain discipline. For example, there is the data engineer nano degree with these sections. We have data modeling, cloud data warehouses, Spark and data lakes, data pipeline with Airflow, and it finishes up with a capstone project. According to Udacity, these programs take a few months to complete, but it's all at your own pace, so you could theoretically crank one of these nano degrees out in a month, or you could take the scenic route and stretch it out across a year or more. The nano degree term sounds like a pretty fancy word, sounds maybe even a bit prestigious, like in the academic sense, but nano degree programs are not accredited. It's just a word that Udacity made up and made into a PDF for you to print out once you finish paying them. That doesn't necessarily mean the program is bad. Actually, I was pretty intrigued by the whole idea and I wanted to see how it compared to Treehouse's tech degree. But this is where I came into my first real snag with this platform. I was all set to check out a nano degree program. I literally had one added to my cart, but something told me to check out their refund policy. So I'm reading the fine print and it says I have two days to get a refund if I don't like the product. Two two days? Usually with these platforms, it's at least seven days. It just seemed like a weird number to me. And so I Google it and I come to this page where students are saying they had to call customer support, but then they had to get on a chat and jump through all these hoops just to cancel their subscription. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not doing that. It just seemed kind of sketchy. So I actually opted out of enrolling in a nano degree program because of that. At nearly $400 a month, it just wasn't worth the risk. But if we go back into these courses, you might notice that they don't show course publication dates. So I had to do some sleuthing. And if you wanna get some insight into the age of some of these courses, go ahead and click download syllabus. I'm not trying to blow anybody's spot up so I won't get into the specifics, but in one of these syllabi, it said something like, you'll learn the latest and greatest of X technology version 4.5. And I'm like, dude, 4.5, we're on version seven. And there have been some massive updates since 4.5. A lot of stuff has been deprecated. A lot of this stuff, isn't even gonna run in 2021. This is honestly the number one all-time killer of tech courses, trying to keep up with these changing technologies, very challenging. And on most of these platforms, especially the bigger ones I've noticed, do suffer from this issue in varying degrees. Now, I did see some fresher options here on Udacity, so not everything is outdated, but just giving you the heads up, you've really gotta do some sleuthing and do some research depending on what you want to study. You don't wanna get stuck with a deprecated learning path, especially because their return window is so small. Let's talk about the production values and instructors on Udacity. There is a collection of free videos here I was able to check out to assess their quality. They all had pretty high quality production values. There's kind of this treehouse s quality where you can tell a lot of the stuff was storyboarded. Most of the stuff was scripted. There's a lot of talking head time. There's a consistent quality here very much in the treehouse tradition. As far as the instructors go, a lot of stuff in the web development arena was produced with the help of Google. So we have have a lot of Googlers here who know their stuff among other instructors, but going outside of that sphere, just checking out the programs page, we can see here that companies like IBM Watson, Starbucks, MailChimp, even Mercedes-Benz are collaborating with Udacity. So just by those name brands alone, you know there's gonna be a certain production standard. This is in contrast to a platform like Udemy, which is also video-based, but on Udemy, it's a total mishmash grab bag of instructors. Don't get me wrong, there are some classic courses on Udemy me, but the people who teach these courses here on Udacity are all well edited. There aren't like awkward pauses or people sounding like they recorded their vocals in an attic bathroom. So that was a welcome relief. Also, 
guess who I found in a freaking suit teaching Sinatra? That's right, the one, the only Colt Steele had no idea this guy was teaching Sinatra on Udacity. But moving on, how much does Udacity cost? So all nano degrees cost $399 per month. Could be cheaper if you qualified for financial aid. Again, it's go at your own pace and the nano degree programs I've been seeing are saying to expect around four months time if you do five to 10 hours a week. On the other hand, there are some free courses. Your mileage may vary on those. The ones I did check out were a bit hit and miss. They're also all on YouTube on Udacity's channel. This website performance optimization course was pretty cool though. That was just around seven hours total plus a final project. You don't get it graded or anything like that. It's more of a prompt, but you do have a good opportunity to explore Chrome Dev tools and use your critical thinking skills to make a website perform better. But they have just about 190 freebies at the moment. All right, what are other people saying about Udacity? Decidedly mixed reviews. I recently polled my YouTube audience on my main channel, Real Tough Candy, not leading anybody in any particular way, just curious what their experience was. We have quite a few people here who've done nano degrees or in the process of doing one, and the feedback is pretty mixed. Now, some people say the material was outdated. Someone felt pressure to blaze through the material because they're paying $399 a month. Some people said the material was good. Someone said free co-camp was better. Jamuna said, I did the business analytics nano degree six months ago. I did learn a few things, but their content is not enough to get you a job. I enjoyed their structure, but the content is not not a thorough detailed syllabus required for a working world. Their courses are not connected to each other. I was on cloud nine during my 2.5 months with very little to show for it. And then Kevin is saying that work is required outside of just the videos. He said, I've completed the full stack web developer nano degree and currently enrolled in their cloud DevOps engineer program. The content they provide is good. However, you will have to take the time to study beyond what is provided. Links to additional resources is usually provided within the lessons. The nano degree projects are definitely the most valuable asset aspect of the program. I like that recently they have put more emphasis on building beyond the project requirements, going as far as providing suggested ideas. Final verdict. Developers, I love education. I love how accessible it's become over the years. I love sharing opportunities with people. And I wanted to love this platform, just like all of them. I go in wanting to love it. But unfortunately, from what I saw, I don't think I can recommend this one right now, at least not the nano degree program if you're paying for it. I think the biggest issue with Udacity is that quite a bit of content, at least the software development stuff I checked out, it peaked around 2017 and having to pay almost $400 a month for a nano degree that's supposed to take about four months. So that's like 1600 bucks right there for something that's almost half a decade old. I just don't see the value. Now, some of the more evergreen topics, great. You know, JavaScript fundamentals will always be JavaScript fundamentals, but they're also always going to be on YouTube. They're going to be on Udemy. I'm just having a tough time understanding the unique value of this platform. And I'm also pretty turned off by Udacity's refund policy. If there was a seven day refund policy, for example, I would be much more willing to say, hey developers, you know what? Udacity isn't blowing my mind, but you might find something here, check it out. That's where I am with Pluralsight at the moment, for example. Now Pluralsight is not my personal favorite platform, but they do have a seven day free trial and it's a one button cancellation process. And I know there are people out there who might enjoy it. If you're looking for alternatives to Udacity, I would say check out Codecademy Pro I signed up for Pro. I liked what I saw. They offer a lot of similar topics on Udacity, but the Codecademy Pro option is cheaper and more interactive. Also, check out my review on that. It's popping up on your screen right now. I would also recommend checking out Treehouse. As you heard me mention a few times in this video, that platform really reminded me of this one. And just like Codecademy Pro, Treehouse is cheaper than Udacity. Their version of a nano degree is called a tech degree. I also do like the UI of Treehouse a little better than Udacity. That review is also popping up for your enjoyment. So what are your thoughts? Is Udacity worth it in 2021 or should people keep searching? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.